of el salón, the chronicles, oye, ladies of el salón, the chronicles, escucha, ladies of el salón, the chronicles. But off to my next topic, um, I know them as the, or you guys, we all know them as the ex-royals, and I'm talking about Harry uh, and Meghan. I and love I know I love them, and I, you know what, they'll always be royals in in my eyes. But yes. you know that they have a, a, an interview happening with Oprah this Sunday, and it's going to be I'm on all there. CBS. <laughs> it's going to be on CBS Sunday, March seventh at eight p.m. So if you guys want to watch it, please do because I think it's going to be very interesting. And I am curious to know what are the questions that Oprah is going to be asking. I mean, are they going to spill the beans? Are they going to air out all the royal la dirty laundries? I want to know what is happening. But I saw a little clip of it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I love how Harry loves Megan. I mean, I so much so that he stepped down and he said that he could not watch his wife go through what she went through. So he had to be there to support her. And I think that that says a lot about who he is. He is his mother's child. And that's what I was going to say. I see a lot of yes. Diana in him. And, and I think that's what he's the legacy he's putting forward. One of the things that he said was that he didn't want history to repeat itself. Um, because you know how the paparazzis in in England and, in, in, you know, they're, they're just in your face. There's no the law. The British paparazzi, that, yeah. The, the British paparazzi. There's no law that prevents them from invading your privacy. So that's why a lot of, if you realize, if you look um, and notice a lot of uh, celebrities like to live in New York. They like to live in L.A., and even even LA has a lot of paparazzi. I think New York is the one that has the, the a lot of restrictions with paparazzis. They can't invade mm -hmm. your privacy. Mm -hmm. So um so yeah, so I'm very interested to know what it is. And one of the questions that Oprah asks is were you silent or were you silenced? So yeah, I'm I am I am that. ready for that response. Like, what is it? I think the answer <laughs> is silenced. <laughs> Well, no, um, I, I, I actually, um, I've been, uh, since this whole interview thing came out and then, um, she discussed having a miscarriage and now mm -hmm. she's pregnant again. Right. Um, so I've been obsessed with them and I was watching a few of the British shows. They are not very well liked in, no. uh, you know, by the British people and especially Megan. So what they're saying is that as royals, they get a, uh, an allowance. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you, if you, I've, I've watched the crown, I don't know everything about the, about the royals, but I've watched I the crown. I love all of those shows, the crown, yes. the princess Diana, all of that. I've watched. So you know that they're really at the mercy of the people, the taxpayers. Okay. So they right. get their, you know, their money to be royals from them. So they are on a budget and they can't just do whatever they want. So I'm sorry, what I'm, saying, sorry I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. I have to cut you off. They're on a budget. So I'm on a budget. <laughs> well, you ninety dollars I mean. in groceries a week. Okay, <laughs> you're talking about they're on a five hundred million dollar budget a month. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, you know, I it's know, not just, like they I have know. unlimited funds. So, just what, they, <laughs> what they were saying is that they stood to make more money uh, as the what did you call them? Ex royals or ex -royals. un royals? the ex royals they stood to make more money and what they're saying is that they're using the whole privacy issue and the british paparazzi as a sob story to mm. gain sympathy so that they can sell their story because I don't believe that. they were saying you know if you're so concerned with privacy how do we know you had a miscarriage because you shared it how and okay so now they have i mean at the end of the day they're sold, in the public they've, eye yeah they've sold yeah. their story to netflix they're on uh, there uh, and according to british tabloid they're gonna make a lot of money from this interview and they're doing different interviews like they've sold their story i'm not mad at them and I'm made not mad at them way either. more no. they have a podcast right? bank on that podcast. shit so yeah no i'm not i love them but I love them. the the uh, British um, shows like the Good Morning America of of England or London or whatever the fuck, um, they were like, <laughs> yeah, Megan, 
they were mad at her and they were like, how about having some sympathy and respect and canceling this interview since no. Harry's grandfather is dying. Prince no. Philip is in the hospital. How's about and the royals had I'm some sorry. respect for them and, and stood up for her when she was being trashed and paparazzis I'm... were giving her a hard time. Fuck no. Exactly. No. I'm sorry. No. Harry and Meghan, do your thing. Do your yeah. thing. So, do so your I'm thing. Sorry. Uh, Philip is 155 Prince. years old. He's 99. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. And listen, I'm not saying anything, but I'm, ju I'm just saying, okay? That at that point, I wish my mother had lived to 99 years old. I would have said goodbye in peace. I would have been ecstatic. I would have been, you know what? God bless you. Right. I'm good. Let's go. I mean, it's different. I, and, and I'm not, because I know you have an elderly grandmother, Zuli, so I'm not saying that you should. <laughs> she is alive and kicking. She ain't going. She ain't going. No, she's going to outlive us all. She's like, she's like a dinosaur. Or, or a she wolf. keeps adding time know. to her meter and, and, on her and phone. And I don't mean to be insensitive to anybody, but I just think that when you're 99, 100, 105, 102, it's different right. than when you're not. And then yeah. if you just die of natural causes and stuff like that, it's life and it has to take its course. Right. right? Well, they were, they're just saying so, that this is all a little bit, you know, like Queen Elizabeth is dealing with her dying husband and his, you know, and William's you know uh, grandfather and Charles' dad. And, you know, so it's a death in the family. Death in the Whatever. family. Whatever. Damned, yes, 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 damned, yes. damned, damned if you but do. You know damned what? if you don't. Because when they were over there, they freaking were dragging them through the mud. And now that they want to do their own thing and bank on their own fucking life, you're telling them they can't? You may go fuck yourself. Whatever. Well, you know, of course, race is going to play a role. And now you know, there's always been the rumblings of her taking Harry away. But I just see so much of Diana mm -hmm. in their marriage. Um, and then at that time, they also said Diana was a farce. And that, you know, she was like, oh, she wasn't abused the way that she said she was or whatever. I don't believe it. I just think that Megan chose not to do that and harry supported her and absolutely made a decision that was best for their family but you know it's a why big deal to leave the royal family you, hello you know why because his mother did not get the support so he was not exactly. gonna let that happen and he's exactly. giving his wife support and that is what a husband is supposed to do he is supposed to support his wife just how his the wife is supposed to support the husband so they need to fucking take a couple of seats humble themselves and leave them alone they're no and longer listen, over there they gave up their 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 royalties so let the, let them live. Come on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And listen, I'm not judging. Uh, 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 what's his brother's name and his wife's name? Uh, William and Kate. Yeah, nobody William remembers them anymore. Exactly. <laughs> but listen, it's okay. But but here's the thing. I'm okay with them choosing to follow in line, whatever. That's fine. That's not a big right. deal. Let them continue. But you should also have respect for people who well, say, you know what? Mm, this is he's, not for me. And that's the thing. He's next in line. Harry was never going to see that. He was never going to be prince. He was never going to be king. He was never going to be anything. So, yes, he's next in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, no, but, 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 but Harry, Harry's behind all of... Uh, yeah, kids, he's, he's way behind. Kids. But yeah. they say that yeah. he could have um, abdicated. So mm -hmm. he didn't. So it's like, it's tricky. Because when you abdicate, you like give everything up or whatever. Right. But they wanted to... Like Elizabeth's brother. That's how Elizabeth. Yeah. Became so, queen. but he didn't do that. Oh, well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Next topic. So Ladies of El Salon, the crown.